In this module, we'll review the system components and deployment options for Windchill Modeler. First of all, we see the main components of the Windchill Modeler deployment. So at the bottom, we have the two main applications, Windchill Modeler itself and Model Explorer, which is used to view and manage models. At the top of the diagram, we have the server components. So this is where we have the Windchill Modeler server and the SQL Server database that contains the model files. This type of deployment is known as the standalone individual user deployment and is most suited for small situations and for personal use. In, in this situation, all of the software components are deployed on one physical or virtual machine. The next option is really the client server architecture. And this is suitable for a production and a small work group type deployment. It's recommended for environments where there's good network performance and low latency. So at the bottom we have multiple workstations, each with Windchill Modeler and Model Explorer installed on their machines. We have Windows Network communication to the server. So at the top, we have the Modeler server components, again with the database SQL Server, again with the database files and content. We also have a web interface. Because this is more of a, a work group multi-user deployment, the web interface can be used to give access to model content over HTTPS for web clients. So this allows other users in the enterprise to access Windchill Modeler data through a web browser. We also have another web app called Model Manager, and this can be used to perform model management and administration type tasks. Again, also accessible through a web browser. So in this type of environment, we can have multiple users um, and all deployed within the same Windows network, accessing the shared server and model data in the database. In some cases, some of our customers also employ desktop virtualization capabilities. So for example, this could be Citrix server or remote desktop services from Windchill uh, we also have some customers who've also used other products such as VMware Horizon with success. In this type of deployment, we have um, a server component for the desktop virtualization. And when we access the model files, we're actually accessing through the Citrix or remote desktop client. So the Windchill Modeler instance is running on the server machine and we're accessing it through this desktop virtualization client. This gives us much greater scalability and really improves performance of the client applications. So for situations where there's a lot of users or maybe the network performance isn't very good, or it's a globally distributed type of deployment with users across the world, using this type of desktop virtualization can really help improve performance. When we perform the installation, we have different options to support those different types of deployments. This is um, shown through the installation wizard that guides the user through the install steps. And we can choose optional components such as the web interface, the web client that we just saw. We provide installation guides. There's some in the online help with the product, but also as available as a PDF so that you can read that before you actually install any software. We have a performance guide. And it's strongly recommended that you review the contents of the performance guide before starting your deployment. Because there are quite a lot of options in the deployment uh, and the installation, depending on what you want to set up and configure, we've provided some checklists. So these support the different types of deployments that we saw earlier on with the standalone single user work group and then the enterprise um, deployment type. 
So these give a, a short checklist of all of the actions that you need to take to complete the install and then links to the, the, the help. So you can access this online from the support sites on our online help on, under ptc.com. There's a demo available of a, a simple standalone install. That's on our YouTube channel. So you can see the link there. If you access, if you access um, YouTube and search for Windchill Systems and Software Engineering, you'll find these channels. As part of the installation, and it's an optional component that you can elect to not install, but we provide a set of sample models, and these are used to demonstrate some of the main use cases and functionality of Windchill Modeler. So for example, HSUV model um, describes and explains a SysML model. So it gives good information and guidance on how to construct SysML models. There's a variability example around configuring an aeroplane and the cabin of an aeroplane. There's a traffic lights model that helps to explain and is used for an example, a worked example for simulation and SISIM. And then we have other models that are ready to be used in the examples in the help for code generation. So as you look through the worked examples in the help, these models are referred to and you have them accessible, available in the examples database. We explain all of these models and what their purpose is in the online help page that we can see there. And again, make sure that you have access to the support sites and access the help centers within there. Windshield modelers help for the latest version 9.5 and previous versions is all there. If you don't have access to the software, but you're interested in trying out Windshield Modeler, you can get a free evaluation copy with a temporary license. So go to ptc.com and look for Windshield Modeler. And at the bottom of the page there, you'll see the free evaluation. Um, or you can copy the URL that's being shown there. So one of the things that I'd recommend as an exercise, if you're performing this as training, is to access these online help topics the hardware, hardware requirements, and this will give you some sizing guidelines for the, the hardware, but very important topic to, um, to review before planning your deployment. Second topic there is the security aspects of Winchell Modeler and the web interface. So there's several topics in there that you need to consider and make decisions upon and some actions as well to ensure that we, um, and we get the optimum security with the deployment. And of course, very good um, procedure, best practice is to ensure that you have a solid backup procedure and that you've tested it. Um, so these are the sort of things that you we'd expect you to start considering as you deploy Windchill Modeler. Okay, this is the end of this module around system components and the deployment options.